According to ancient Chinese legend, not only was paper armor made and actually used in battle, but also it worked better while wet. Is that even possible? There's only one way to find out. Paper armor. It sounds a little like an oxymoron, but after looking into it, it's actually pretty reasonable. Apparently, back in ancient China, people developed a method of making armor using layered paper. This stuff was supposed to be just as effective as steel armor, which is pretty impressive. But the thing that really hooked me on this topic was what I read next. Apparently, this stuff worked even while it was wet. And not only did it work, supposedly it actually worked better. To test it out, I'm gonna need to make some small scale models. So I headed over to Blick and picked out a couple different kinds of paper. The four kinds I picked up were a thick mulberry paper, a thin mulberry paper, a cotton paper, and a regular wood pulp paper. I tried looking for other kinds of paper, like linen or silk paper, but they either weren't commercially available or they were just cost prohibitive. I got like five sheets of paper and it was still 40 bucks. I really hope the cheap paper is the best one. To get these ready for the test, we're gonna layer these papers kind of on top of each other and build up kind of a little mini pack that we can then test out in the real world. So right now we are down at the same place that we do all of our target practice. I basically whipped up some ballistic gel. It's, it's a little bit denser than regular jello. We should probably do a control first. Um, so we're just gonna take the bow and shoot it straight into this block. All right, three, two, one. All right, how far in did we go? Oh, we went all the way through and slightly out the back. That is what it's gonna look like with no protection whatsoever. Probably should have made a longer block, but you know, I think it's gonna be good enough for just seeing how different things perform. Dry wood pulp paper, three, two, one. So that completely blocked it. How far through did it get? Oh, it almost broke through. It is poking through the back, but not all the way through. Dry cotton paper. They're moving the block of gel, but they're just not making it through. All right, this one seems to have done just about as well as the other paper. I'm, I'm really curious to see how the mulberry paper performs now, since these are both so much stiffer than it. This stuff is like much softer than the other two. I think it still blocked it. I think, yeah, it doesn't seem to have impacted the gel at all. This one has kind of done the least well of all three. I think that could have something to do with the softness, but truthfully, it also didn't do that much worse. I think the interesting thing is that this is so much more flexible, which would make it a much better armor, even though like the strength is about the same. I don't know, I'm curious, but I think now it's time to get them wet. One, one, th oh my gosh. This is absorbing so much water. Dude, come look at this. Look how many bubbles are coming from it. What I'm trying to do is absorb as much water as possible. Because obviously the thickness of the paper itself has now expanded, see? So now there's more material for it to get through. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this performs actually. Bark cloth paper. <laughs> All right, so that, didn't, uh, that did not work maybe as intended. That really got impaled. It even kind of went through a second block a little bit. Let's test these other two. These are as soaked as I could get them. Um, they are dripping wet. Cotton layers, full soak. So it definitely did worse than it did before. It went that far in, but it didn't go all the way through the paper. So it still did a lot better than this stuff. The last thing to try is wood pulp paper. I'm not 100% sure that I want to use wood pulp paper as our final test, even if it is technically the best. 100% wood pulp paper, fully soaked. Firing in three, two, one. This stuff seems pretty strong. I don't know how accurate it is to handmade paper, which would have been used in China. I think that the most accurate choice based upon what was available and what is doing the best in these comparisons is probably to go with the cotton paper. So despite the questionability of the small scale testing, I've decided to go with cotton paper. While wood pulp paper technically did better, cotton paper would have actually been producible by the Chinese at that time. So I felt like it made more sense to go with that rather than something that is very much a modern day paper. Now, as usual, we're gonna be using our dummy Stumpy to test out this armor. However, I realized he needs to be a little bit more rigid if I want him to be pretty accurate. So I've decided to add some wooden dowel in order to give him sort of bones that'll make him a little bit of a stiffer dummy. Scalpel. Prepare 
pair of the bones for transplant. Come on, damn it, pull it through. Time to replace the removed tissue. He's gonna be okay. Time to stitch him back up. Sir, congratulations. You're gonna be all right. So, after successful surgery on our dummy, it's time to get started on our actual armor. Now, while the ancient texts refer to several kinds of paper armor, the one that we're gonna be focused on is called zija, and I am so sorry that I'm butchering that pronunciation. In English, though, it's called studded paper armor, and we're actually told some specifics on how it's constructed, though they're a little bit vague. This armor is made of flexible paper, which is hammered soft, layered to three kun thick, and then held together by studs. I bought two packs of cotton watercolor paper. I'm also gonna be supplementing this with some other cotton watercolor paper. So I'm gonna stack plywood on the top and bottom of these sheets, and then I'm just gonna drill holes all the way through. The plywood is just gonna function so that I can compress all the other layers of paper together. That way they don't move around and they don't rip as I'm trying to drill through them. Now, the studs I'm gonna be using are gonna actually be bolts, but they should function approximately the same way. Also, to make it easier to work with, I might add some straps on the back of the armor. I'm gonna make sure that these don't interfere at all with the strength of the armor. So, with the armor complete, I headed back to the range to do the final testing. So we are here at the solid filming location that we always use. I have to set up this kind of obnoxious thing that I created last night in order to actually test out this dummy. I think this will work. I don't know, what do you think? You think this thing looks legit? You don't know? That looks good. That looks awesome. I think I'm pretty happy with that. You wanna grab the uh, straps? But you just gotta cinch it up. So it's maybe not the most sturdy thing, but we're gonna hope it holds together for at least a handful of swings. It should get the job done for what we're doing. My theory is that if it works at all while wet, the reason is because that added water kind of adds mass to the pages and maybe slows stuff down more because there's just kind of more slush to get through, but at the same time, you're also breaking down the particles, right? So you kind of have these two forces fighting against each other, which is gonna be interesting. I, I don't have a ton of faith in it, but I am curious to see what happens. According to the text, the paper is supposed to be approximately three to four inches thick. So I made this front chest plate three to four inches. I think it looks pretty good. Honestly, all there really is to do right now is to kind of go at it. What do you want to try first? Let's do the bolts. All right, go for it. Three, two, one. Oh! All right, so about how far did that go in then? Oh, just barely, barely the tip. Yeah. All right, well that's, I mean, that's a really good benchmark though. I'm surprised actually that it went in even that much. How good are you at using a knife? You ready? Yeah, it's not far away. Really? Not, wow. not a lot, it's actually pretty strong. That's yeah, pretty I mean obviously they wouldn't have used it if it was horrible. I mean that's more impressive than I thought it would be. All right, cool. I'll have at it with the sword. Where did I hit it? Did I hit it way over here? Yeah. I did. But it also like barely went in at all. That sword is kind of dull. Well, no, nah, this side is pretty sharp, I gotta say. Oh wow, I see it. I didn't think it would be that sharp. Dangerous. Yeah, so, no, it is dangerous. It's genuinely, this is a genuine weapon. People in the last video were all like, oh, it's probably not this sharp. They still could sharpen it. This is sharp. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be around this. Dude, I'm worried I'm gonna like slip and cut. Yeah, look at that. I got you. That's plenty sharp. That's sharp. All right, so now, anyway, after that whole sitch, I think we're ready to take a stab at it. <laughs> I should begin a comedy tour, don't you think? All right. Whoosh. Three, two, one. So, I mean, I knew that we would have this problem because the thing about this sword is that it's pretty wide. And also, paper is quite good at stopping things. Yeah, this is actually quite dangerous. I don't, I'm being kind of an idiot with this thing. Uh, you think we get it wet now? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, there. Let's apply some duct tape right here. So I couldn't find enough pieces of wood 
to have all of them actually be the right length. So I had to join these together with screws. And so this is just to make sure that they don't like fall apart on me. Masterpiece. To the river. Dude, what? Is the river like dry today or something? No, it's not dry. It just looks really gross. Like that looks really gross, right? Like it's it's been like non-moving for so long that there's it's got like fuzz on top. Algae will bond with the fiber. True. That is that is possible. Dude, I need like a deeper section of the river here. This is gonna take a long time if I don't find a better spot to fill this up. Right here, so we're just gonna... That was like barely any water. Well, I tried to, there, there was just like no more depth. See what I'm saying? It's just, it's not that deep. There's also like the, that part of the lake over there, but... You know what poison ivy looks like? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 the river gets deeper on the other side. It's also like less gross. Yeah. Still not that deep. Yeah, that's significantly more water. That's great, that's, that's so much water, dude. How much water do you have? I got like 20 gallons right here. 20 gallons? Yeah. Wow. I'll spread apart the pages a little bit. I mean, it's getting in there. Don't worry about it. It's getting down into the ridges for sure. All right, hold up, hold up. Let's just let's just soak it a lot. Yeah, screw it. Let's try it. Right, and they're like, <laughs> oh, flies went in my mouth to do that. Hold up. Yeah, let's just carefully flip it over. Yep, yep. Oh yeah. All right. Back. Oh, has he actually? Well, I got the legs, which is the lightest part. What do you think? You think it's gonna make a difference? I not really, no. It's really wet though. Crossbow versus absolutely definitively waterlogged paper. Firing in three, two, one. What's the good news? I mean, same. Does like a millimeter count as a difference? It, it is either the same or worse. So it's not any better. So what you're saying is the ancient Chinese texts are full. Well, I, we don't know that yet. We gotta still, we still gotta try the, uh, we still gotta try the knife and the sword, man. Here, take that part. Hunzi's pocket knives. Is it any deeper? A little bit. But you think a little bit? Like 10%. Yeah, I mean, it's not doing any better. I'm not impressed by the wet armor yet, but maybe maybe we're just using it wrong. Maybe we got to take a swing at it with the sword. Let's let's have at it. Waterlogged paper, sword stab test. Ha! So, actually, look. Look, it didn't go very far in. That's kind of cool. I mean, I don't think it's conclusive enough to say that it was because of the armor. All right, waterlogged paper, slash test. Three, two, one. Where did I hit it? Did I hit it in the exact, no, I hit it a little bit higher. I guess it did a little better, kind of? I mean, mostly it did about the same. Ouch. I mean, that was a hell of a slash, and it did it, just, it did about as well as the other time. Based upon that testing, I gotta say, I am not super impressed. I mean, what do you think? I don't think it did anything useful. There you have it. I mean, that's uh, paper armor. Not strong or well wet, but surprisingly, not that much weaker either. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this one. If you wanna chat about these projects as I'm developing them, you can go check out the Discord, which is linked down below. I also wanna give a shout out to a company called Popov Leather. Popov reached out to me a while ago and sent me a couple of free wallets. I've actually been using this as my real actual wallet since like April and they're really high quality leather. They're like the right price. It's, it's truly impressive. I get a little bit of a kickback if you buy one of those wallets. And if you go to the Discord, I'm actually, I've got a second wallet that they sent me and I'm giving it away for free. You don't have to do anything special except join the discord if you want to see another video you can click right over here if you want to support me on patreon you can click right down here and if you want to join the community discord where we talk about projects that is also going to be linked below well i guess there's only one thing left to do
and send. 